Hello everyone, Jewish Kalisa here. Today I'm gonna talk about the AT uh, game flashback song console. You know, <clears throat> uh, previously I talked about the PlayStation Classic. It was a good console, um, and I was wondering, well, why not make another video with a different console? So, as I was walking today through Walmart, one of the things that came to my mind was, well, I guess I'm gonna try something different and um, a new console perhaps I was debating between that <clears throat> Atari 2600 which I owned in the past uh, and of course the AT zone of flashback uh, 80 games uh, flashback pack now I know about the Atari I, I just found one so it would be it had about 150 games in it however I own an Atari and I, I knew what kind of graphics that it, uh, that has so at this point, I would think it would be a waste of time buying the, the Atari, even if it's a classic. So, I of course, I went to the AT uh, flashback console. And one of the things that caught my attention is it had more games than the uh, PlayStation Classic. This one has about, uh, oh, this is the, the um, flashback console. It has about 50 games, classic games. Um, I guess um, they call it le legends for a reason. So I'm assuming that these are the most legendary games in, in uh, that were at that time. Um, now, this console has, of course, 50 games on it. Um, it has two controls, just like the PlayStation Classic. And it has a power adapter. Now, now this is kind of ironic. The PlayStation uh, Classic had two controls, the unit plus the uh, 20 games, but it had no power adapter. Where do I find the irony in this? Is that the Flash, the Legends Flashback console has two controls, 50 games, but it didn't have a, an HDMI cable. I mean, it's kind of crazy if you think, well, okay, so I'm gonna buy this, this console and I don't have a power adapter. You pretty much have to look for one otherwise you'll be stuck with it and not being able to play that's how i felt before uh, how i felt when i bought it but i'm glad that i was able to find some phone adapters and i'm able to play um, right now i'm focusing on two games for the playstation that is um, Final Fantasy VII and Resident Evil. Do I finish Resident Evil? 
uh, on this one, I played quite a few games. In some of the aspects, the... <clears throat> now, some of these games are decent. The graphics are not all there, but uh, you could still have fun. But then again, these are classic games. And um, I have no idea which from which consoles, because though I know Mega Man, uh, Mega Man and Mega Man 2 and 1942 were from um, Nintendo originally. And of course, you get Super, uh, Super Street Fighter 2 New Challengers, which was basically in Sega or Super Nintendo. So, I mean, um, oh, here we go. Okay, so it featured the uh, Legends flashback, featured the following 1942. The uh, um, Burger King, Mega Man, Street Fighter, and Tetris. And like I said, the graphics, since I'm not exactly from what consoles, except for some of them, uh, I, like I said, some are decent, some aren't as good, but you could still play that game. Um, for instance, I played Strider. I, I haven't played Strider in a long time. Um, I don't know what exactly which version it is, but it is a good game. I just checked it out and liked it. Then there was another one I played called Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninjas. Wow, this game was kind of weird to me because... Uh, you're this guy, you go punching around ninjas. Yeah, you could do kicks and all that. Fine. Weapons, you could gather some. Only if, if uh, it allows you. But some of the levels were like, what? For instance, there's one level where you're fighting on top of a truck. And the truck's moving, so you need to wait till it reaches it stops so you can find the uh, fight the um was was funny because some games were like that another one that i played was oh burger time simple it's just making hamburgers and trying to avoid being cut Uh, let's see. I forgot which other one. Would, I forgot which other one I played where you're, you start on top of a boat and you have a whole bunch of guys trying to get you. Uh, I can remember which game was that. And of course, ghosts, ghosts and uh, ghosts and ghosts. Now I've heard. The Nintendo version was annoying, and uh, I played the Super Nintendo and I got far, but it was annoying as well. I played this version and it was same as annoying. So, uh, I mean, it was a good game. I, I'm not going to say it wasn't a bad game. It, it was kind of annoying, though. Then there was, of course, another game that I don't know what to make of it. Uh, I can remember right now from the list what it was, but you're this guy, you're flying and you're shooting, you're shooting, and you gotta be careful because you can easily change the the, uh, the setups of how you're shooting and that could get you busted all that time. 
and of course there's soccer um, which was a good game but like I said these are some of the games the ones I mentioned are some of the games that out of the 50 that I play graphic wise some of the graphics are good some of them are like yeah some of them are like oh my god what am I seeing here and some are like the classic 8 bit like Mega Man and so you get your you know Now the fluff of this, unlike the PlayStation, which I found one little, one little flaw in it, not big, was that it has a um, change disc mode. However, every time I try to do that during the game, it says uh, it won't do it unless you're permitted or something like that and it doesn't do it so i have to reset the game and then switch to a different game which is not not a big deal for this one though this is kind of crazy i was just noticing controls are basics uh basic controls you know abc oh the controls resemble the Sega Genesis controls. Anyway. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to tell from the controls actually. Uh, if you pick a game that is an arcade game. Now, this is the thing that it it kind of threw me off. First of all, if you want to play Street Fighter or any arcade game, you cannot just press start. You actually have to go and click the select button, go up where it says coins, because they ask you to insert coins. And that's the only way you could start the game. However, the thing about that is you could only put four coins that's it so that means you will have like four continues per game now once your coins run out and you're in the middle of a game and and you're gonna you're on continue and you're running out of time you better go back to the setup go back to reset press coin then get out of there and, and click start. That's the only way you could continue from where you left off. I find that one major flaw. Besides uh, having to start the uh, add coins to the game and instead of starting the game right away, which is click start, just start the game. No, oh, insert coin. Go to go to reset. Insert clicking coin and then start the game and of course um, it is a good I mean it's a good deal uh, it's a good console don't get me wrong the games are like I said I haven't seen all 50 games some are decent some are good some are uh, like oh what the heck I'm just gonna play for the heck of it um, but yeah it's it's as fun as any other console that I can think of well that's two consoles uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get that handout games those have more games but the idea of wasting batteries is not my cup of tea seriously i just saw some of uh, some some of them that carry about about what 200 and some games 
on it, but and looks like a Game Boy. Man, that thing takes as much batteries as that Game Boy takes. If you're gonna waste on batteries, at least the best thing to do is like buy the rechargeables. They're ex yeah, they're expensive, but you can you get if you get it with the charger, man, you have it. You you could and you don't have to worry about wasting money uh, throwing your money on batteries but mm, that's you know everything has pros and cons and this this and what's an interesting about this is this uh this um console it has a, has saving just like the PlayStation 2 I mean the, the uh, like the PlayStation Classic sorry um and you could also I don't know, you could use an SD card because it has a slot for it. Um, but there's some suggestions on, on the manual about that. And you also have a re uh, game rewind uh, feature, which I tried to fit. <laughs> I mean, I was messing around, but I kept on getting killed by using the rewind. Anyway. Um, that's it, folks. That's the uh, that's the um, legend legend flashback pack. Uh, I'll probably make some reviews out of the games pretty soon, but. Um, Um, that's all for now. If you like this video or any of my other videos, just, you know what to do. Click on comments. If you have suggestions for future videos, drop those in. Questions. <sighs> comments, concerns, you know what to do. And challenges. I'm getting ready because I've been challenged to do something uh, that's gonna be on my up uh, on my next video uh, video either the next one or upcoming videos depending what's uh, gonna be on my next video but uh, yeah so as I always say, your comments, I mean your feedback is really important to me, so you guys know what to do, and as I always say, take care, good day, and peace out. See you on the next one.